What's up guys, uh, my name is Trevor Stewart. Uh, I'm 18 years old, I'm from Rancho Cucamonga, California, and uh, I race dirt bikes professionally. I broke my wrist. We start off with uh, my broken wrist that I broke today, uh, about six hours ago. I broke my neck in six places, broke my left femur and dislocated it. Got knocked out, um, broken clavicle, collar, collarbones, broken collarbones twice, uh, broken humerus, broken ribs, broken hip, about all my fingers and all my toes. A man full of metal, I guess. I mean, I wouldn't say that I have a higher, like, danger level than anybody else, but I mean, I know there's people out there that have broken more stuff than I have. It's just all about uh, how much you put into the sport, I guess. We all have a passion and, and a drive to, to do the sport, and especially it's how dangerous it is. Losing close friends and stuff like that, you know, it's, it's a lot to take in, but uh, like I said, it's something we, we want to do, and it's our passion, and we love it, and we wouldn't want to trade it for anything. Yeah, it's, I guess it's just the risk you take. It kind of sets you apart from uh, a lot of people, I guess you could say. Um, it's, it's a very different sport. Very physically demanding, dangerous. It's so much fun. I mean, I couldn't imagine my life without a dirt bike. Also, just the people, the community that, that you get surrounded with, you know, it's, uh, there's a lot of good people. Obviously, when you're riding the bike, you know, it's, it's, it's mostly individual, but uh, when you look at it in, uh, in a big picture, it's, it's a team support. You know, couldn't do it without my dad. He's my mechanic. My mom has obviously got to be my number one fan. All your uh, sponsors and everyone else, you know, it's, it's a team effort for sure. I couldn't do it without the people that helped me. Uh, definitely, uh, at a larger scale, it's, uh, it's a team support. Um, by your whole family and, and friends and, uh, and everyone that helps you out and that, that can get you to the races on the weekend and keep you going throughout the week. Uh, say we race on a Sunday, we, we rest up, uh, get back on the grind on Monday, you know. Um, we try and make our, our practice days throughout the week harder than the race day, so when race day comes, uh, it's, it's a lot easier, not easier, but uh, just in, in our minds, we know we put in the work throughout the week. It, that comes along with all, all the road biking we do and hours that we spend in the gym and, and mountain biking and uh, every, everything else that, that falls in place when, when you race motocross. So uh, yeah, our, our, our weeks are pretty intense. What, what we do to get prepared for race day is uh, my, dad's, my dad's getting bikes ready in the garage. He's, he's the mechanic, so um, he's out here spending most of his time after work working on bikes. and. Um, making sure they're all ready to go for race day. And, and for me, you know, it's, it's mostly about eating healthy and making sure I, I did what I needed to do throughout the week to be prepared for race days. So that goes from anything to just how you eat and uh, what you drink and making sure that you're on top of how much calorie intake you've had that day and uh, making sure that you've, you know in your head that you've put in all the work that week to uh, come to race day. Uh, Swinging. I'd say mostly it's just uh, how you come into it mentally and how mentally strong you can be and how you know that you put in more work than, than most of the guys out there and, and that you deserve to win. There's a lot to, that goes into uh, prepping for race days, so yeah. Uh, usually what I eat on race days, same that I eat on practice day, or usually every morning. Uh, start out with a couple eggs, some oatmeal, put, put some ketchup on my eggs make a smoothie, kind of get my day started. Definitely a couple cups, cups of coffee, you know, keep me, keep me going throughout the day. The best is it's like Kai or something, you know. You don't want to take them out, but maybe show them a wheel or something. And definitely want to, definitely want to beat them just so you got bragging rights, you know, but other than that, you know, just sitting on the line. Usually I'm just super focused, ready to get the start, ready to get a whole shot, try and win, make some money. Make that go up, the go up. Uh, first off, I'd love to thank my whole family, um, my mom and dad and my brothers and uh, everyone else in my family uh, for being huge supporters of me uh, since, since day one. And uh, Kenny Alexander at Fast House, you know, this year he stepped up big time for me and helped me out and uh, his whole family. And uh, I couldn't do it without them. And uh, 
Andrew Marshall, uh, Marshall's Concrete. Um, he helped me out big time this year, and uh, Enzo Suspension, Will Decker, has been helping me out since I was on 65s, and uh, Max's Tires, and IMS, GPR, um, X-Brand Goggles, Rich Taylor, um, Bell Helmets, Garnet, uh, FMF, Ryan Rowell at Torque Fit for uh, keeping me in shape this year. He's been uh, yeah, he's been unreal uh, helping me out and I uh, couldn't thank him enough for everything he does for me and uh, Flow Motorsports and uh, anyone else I forgot, you know, thank you guys so much. I, I really couldn't do this without you and uh, all your guys' help, so thank you and uh, lean on me. When you're not strong and I'll be there <laughs> whenever you want me. Lean on me when you're not strong. Now be there. You can sing it, yeah? Yeah, cuz.